Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought that we would do a full face of makeup at Ulta. Sephora gets a lot of love on YouTube, a lot of love in the beauty community, and we don't hear about Ulta as much. So today, I wanna put together a full face using products found at Ulta. There are definitely some hidden gems there and some that are exclusive to Ulta, so let's go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, so thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today, like I said, we'll be doing a full face of makeup found at Ulta. Some of this makeup will be found at Sephora as well, but for the most part, we're gonna stick to makeup that you can find only at Ulta. I found some really good stuff there in the past year and I wanna share it. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Yadi. We like to talk about all things makeup, luxury makeup, indie makeup, drugstore makeup, do some get readies with me, talk about new makeup releases. So if that's your thing, if you wanna join a community that loves makeup, then consider subscribing. Welcome back. I'm so excited. How are you guys liking Vlogmas? It's been really fun, you guys. I've, I've never committed to a full 31 days of uploads, but I'm having a blast. I hope you are too. Don't forget to continue to share my video with as many people as you can. That really does help my channel out. Remember to like the video and go check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Okay, before we start talking about products, I did want to mention that there are links in the description box below. Those are the links to the products that I'm talking about today. They are affiliate links, so if you use them, they're free to use. They do pay me a small commission for sharing those links with you and it's a really great way to support my channel. So if you do, thank you so much. However, no pressure at all. I'm getting ready for a day of filming. This is what I do on the weekends as I prepare for Vlogmas. And so one of the things that I wanted to share with you guys is uh, Dossier. Have you guys heard of Dossier? Everybody's talking about Dossier. I feel like uh, very early in my channel, they reached out and started sharing fragrances with me. And my hook was that, and my hook was was that I had literally just discovered ba Baccarat Rouge 540, this super, super pricey fragrance, and I couldn't get enough of it, you guys. But if you know, like the 1.7 ounce bottle, yeah, I think it's like the 1.7 or the 3.4, it's like $540. I mean, it is super, super pricey. It is delicious. I wish that was my signature scent. <laughs> I don't have that fragrance yet. I finished a smaller bottle of it and I haven't purchased it again because they, Dossier sent me this fragrance like, you know, a while ago. And this is the Ambery Saffron um, fragrance. And literally, you guys, it's the exact dupe for the Baccarat Rouge 540. Now, I will say that it doesn't last as long as the Baccarat Rouge. Um, it will last all day, but like the Baccarat Rouge, I was just telling my friend, I can spray it on a blazer for work, for instance. And when I'm done with the blazer, I put it away. I wear it a couple times before I dry clean. And then I can smell the Baccarat Rouge on there for a couple weeks later. But with this one, it doesn't last as long, but it doesn't matter because it lasts all day and it smells exactly like the high-end version. Now, Dossier is a brand that is vegan, cruelty-free, a clean beauty brand that focuses on fragrances and literally that's what they do. They dupe their high-end alternative. It comes in a really nice glass bottle, looks super, super chic and the closure, the top is magnetic. So love that. Very, very luxe feeling, very weighty. So if you're just like thinking like, what would I even even try. So like the Ambery Saffron is again a dupe for the Baccarat Rouge 540. It also smells a little bit like the Burberry Her, you know, that pink bottle, which is also a dupe of the Baccarat Rouge 540, but that's what it smells like. Then I have Woody Sage. Last year at Sephora, they had a Jo Malone fragrance gift for birthdays, and I picked the Sea Salt Cologne. That's what this smells like. It smells just like that, but like a little bit more of this grapefruit hint to it, but it's so, so good, you guys. And then the last one I wanted to share is the Ambery Vanilla. The Ambery Vanilla is supposed to be like a dupe for the, I think it's the YSL Black Opium. I don't have that one either. That wasn't even on my radar. And now I want to buy the YSL because this one smells so delicious. But anyway, they're having amazing sales that started during Black Friday. Unfortunately, I just could not fit it into my content, but I wanted to share because during the holidays, they have great, great sales. Uh, so I'll leave a link down below. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. I don't make a commission, but I wanted to share it because it's so good. It makes really, really good gifts to give to somebody in your life that loves fragrances. So I wanted to share these. Today's like a black opium kind of day. Mmm, it smells good. Okay, so talking about new makeup at Ulta. So I did start with my brows, so I'll just share real quick because I always do those off camera, but every single day, and I have this routine up on my TikTok, Instagram, 
I think it's even in my shorts here on YouTube, but I go in with my Benefit, precisely my brow pencil. That's what I go in with first. Then, uh, because this is more to fill in my brows, I have very sparse brows, to make hair like strokes, I go in with the NYX. This is the Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pin. This is so good, you guys. It will last forever. I think I found it like spring this year. It still hasn't dried out on me and it hasn't um, run out, which I feel like the Urban Decay, which is the dupe to this, the higher end dupe, I would go through those so quickly. So I think this is wonderful. And then sticking with NYX, I actually have come to like the NYX brow glue. This is like the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, you know, drugstore alternative. It's pretty good. I like that it doesn't make like my brows crunchy, but it holds them in place. So it's really good. Then sometimes at the end, I might go in with a thickening brow mascara also by NYX. This is what it looks like here. And again, I have very, very sparse brows, you guys. I'll show you a picture here just so you see. Like all of this is pre-manufactured, honey. <laughs> like I have to draw it in. But what I like about this is it thickens up those hairs that are there just to make it look more natural and fluffy. So anyway, that's my brow game. I did also do my primer. And this is a primer that I absolutely love. It's the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer. As you can see, I'm gonna need a new one soon. It is so, so good. I've got a mess of a situation going. I have oily skin, I have oily lids, but then my under eyes are really dry. And that uh, primer is really, really good on my oily lids. But then sometimes just as I'm doing my makeup really quickly, I might get the primer on my under eye and it never dries out my under eyes. So it's a really nice formula and very, very inexpensive. Just like Sephora has a Sephora collection, this is the Ulta Beauty collection and it is fabulous. Now, if you've been around my channel for a while, you know that I love me some BK Beauty brushes. I love Sonia G. I love Refer. I love Sephora Collection Pro brushes, but I'm going to try as best I can to use brushes from Ulta. And the one that I wanted to show you that I did my lids with, as well as the one that I'll use for my concealer today, is this one by It Cosmetics. It's the concealer brush, and it is It Cosmetics brushes for Ulta. And I just really like it. It's such a nice shape. It's exactly the right size for the under eye. And it's really fluffy, but it packs the concealer in place. It doesn't diffuse it out or like sheer it out too much. Love this brush. Okay, we'll get started here. I'm gonna pull my hair out of my way. I usually do my eyeshadow first, so let's go ahead and do that. Today, just because of the dress I'm wearing, I am feeling a green look. Let's do a green holiday look. So I wanted to start with um, a brand that is found at Ulta. You can find them online through their site as well, but I love, love, love Juvia's Place, and I actually discovered them there. These little quads are amazing, by the way, really good quality as all her shadows are. They actually have four different color stories. There's like a honey bronzy one, a gray one, um, a minty one, which I did also pull out here. So go check them out. If you want swatches and like full videos and looks on them, um, I'll link the video because I did do one on all four quads. Okay, I can already tell you I'm already having issues finding eye brushes from Ulta. So I'll just go with what I have. If I do use brushes, that are found at Ulta, I'll link them down below. Okay, let's bring you in. Ooh, there you go, all up in my business. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna go with this really nice forest green to start. This is a MAC brush. If I can find it, I will link it since MAC is sold at Ulta. I'm gonna go in a little lower than I normally do. Okay, I actually did a whole eye off camera just because I wanted to see what I wanted to do. And I'm so happy with how this look came out. I just, I love green eyeshadow, you guys, but with Juvia's Place, they just work so well. So I'll show you how I got this. I used two of the quads. So again, the Army and the Mints. Um, so after we laid down this green here, I went into this green here from the Mints, the lightest one. It's a matte and I just softened up the top here. Then I went back into the Army with a Luxie brush and I went into the deepest shade there. A very grungy green, just to deepen up the outer corner, but just at the bottom here. With these colorful looks, if you are not careful and you start blending upwards, it can quickly get out of hand where all of the colors kind of go up and you can't really see the definition. And I don't have big lids or eyelids. Okay, for the next part, so that the shimmers pop really nicely, I actually cut the crease. So I'm going in with this Too Faced Creamy Concealer. I think it's the Peach Concealer. Too Faced is definitely sold at Ulta, so if it's still available, it will definitely be there. 
I have textured lids. I have hooded lids. I'm not too careful with my cut crease. It doesn't have to be that perfect. I think in general, people get nervous about cut creases. It doesn't have to be that perfect as long as you get the majority of the area that you want cleared out for those shimmers, it'll work. Next, going into this green shimmer. Oh my gosh, so pretty. It looks a little dark and intimidating in the pan, but it's really not. It's so nice. And the last shade for the look, we go back into the mints palette and it's this lightest one here. It's kind of got like a little bit of a duochrome shift, but it's not very opaque, but it's so pretty. Of all the shimmers, I feel like this one's really creamy and it just has more payoff than you think it would because it kind of has a clear base, you know, but it's so nice. I always take the brush that I did the outer corner with and no additional shadow, but I, when I do a cut crease and it has shimmer, I like to deepen it up a little bit more. Okay, so there's the I look. Um, let me just pull you out a, a little further out so you can see the rest of the makeup, but um, I didn't have an eyeliner or a liquid eyeliner from Ulta, so I used my Surratt liquid eyeliner, which I love. Um, but yeah, that's what I did at the top. Okay, I haven't done like a super bold green look in a while. Loving it. All right, next, complexion. Now, you guys, when I tell you, oh, when I tell you with my whole entire heart, this foundation went viral, at least on TikTok, and the hype is so, so real. Okay, I need you to know that. So I am going to use the Ulta Beauty Complexion Crush Medium Coverage Foundation. Oh my God, it puts a smile on my face. It's so good. It's so skin-like. For reference, I have oily skin most of the year. During this time of year, which is the winter, I do have more combo skin, more dry on the perimeters, but this is so, so beautiful. It's natural, but it gives coverage. It goes on seamlessly. It lasts all day. I can't say enough good things about it. Mine's in the shade medium neutral, and I have a bunch of shimmer on my um, the back of my hand, so I'll put it on this tray. It's kind of a thicker consistency, as you can see there, but it's incredible. Now, when I bought it, I was into this phase where I was only using fingers for foundation. Right now, I'm using brushes. That's kind of what I'm into. So I am going to dab... And then a really great foundation brush from Ulta. Again, this is also It Cosmetics, and I fell in love with this brush. It's the It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation heart-shaped foundation brush. An alternative that is equally as good, but just different shapes, is the e.l.f. Uh, buffing foundation brush. So, so good, so I wanted to mention that. But I'll use the It Cosmetics today because it's my favorite. So you can see there, automatically there's coverage. I would say... I don't know if I would call it a medium, maybe like a light medium, but it's definitely buildable. Oh my God, I love it. Just like the first time. Oh, I love it. It feels like the first time. It feels like the very first Popped time. a little more here where I like to get a little bit more coverage. What I want to say too is I've seen a lot of 40 plus creators use this product. So it looks wonderful. And of course, if it looks wonderful on us, it's going to look wonderful on young people, right? If they only knew just how lucky and blessed they are. Enjoy it. Enjoy it while you can. That's all I'm saying. Another thing I wanted to mention about this foundation is that this is one of the very, very, very few that I can wear without primer. And it's so perfecting, you guys. I have really large pores because I have oily skin and um, I like the smoothing. I don't have a lot of texture on my skin. I do a lot of exfoliation, but it's the pores, the oil control. And this foundation, I don't need a primer. That's a huge, huge deal in my mind. Okay, oh, I'm so excited, you guys. I haven't used it in a while and I'm so excited. Now, before I came on camera, I did, I always, for the most part, if I remember, put on my lip plumper. This is the Viper Lip Plumper from Nabla. It feels like there's snake venom in there. I mean, it starts plumping and in just a little while, you'll start to see my lips get a little red, but it works. I always like to put it on when I'm prepping for makeup. Okay, so I did my foundation. That looks wonderful. I am going to share a concealer that I bought there. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiant Concealer. Um, It is a pretty big component. <laughs> I usually use it during this time of the year because I feel like it's a little lighter on my skin tone, but this one, you guys, it's going to be just like the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer, the new one that came out this year. You're going to want to use just a little bit high coverage, um, and if you use too much, it can get a little cakey or dry, but I have dry under eyes. I mean, I'm 40 plus, honey, so we need a little help in that department, and I just use a tiny little bit, and it works 
beautifully. It also is one of those concealers that you almost don't even have to set. It'll last all day and it's just wonderful. I'm also so excited because I have never been able to use the double wear foundation. I just don't, I don't know, it doesn't rock with me. It's too full coverage, but they released the super light tinted double wear foundation or tinted moisturizer this year. And I love that one so much. Not last, not this year, last year. I love it so much, but it's kind of a, it's a tinted moisturizer. So the coverage is a little sheer, but when I pair that moisturizer or tinted moisturizer with this concealer, oh my God, my skin looks so good. I love it. Yeah, I'm just looking at the concealer on my nose and right above my lip. It just blends like skin, you guys. That's my thing. I'm obsessed with complexion products, but they have to look skin-like, you know, because of my age and texture, whatever. So the next thing I like to do is let it sit under the eye for 30 seconds to a minute. This one I don't let set as much because it does set quickly. So I go in with the NYX Bear With Me setting spray. It's a multitasking spray, but I like to wet my brush just a little bit, the same IT Cosmetics brush, so that it can spread the product nicely. Okay, you guys see how little I used and how it's brightening and the coverage crazy so good but again i will reiterate i mean it looks so pretty just skin like but i'll reiterate like a little goes a long way don't overdo it wow that is so pretty and i mean honestly you don't even have to set it can you guys see my lips they're starting to because i have foundation on them but they're starting to poke through the venom is in full action or the viper <laughs> now i am going to set my under eyes even though i really don't feel like i actually need it but i'm filming a lot today and i'm busy and i just needed them i need them to last so holy holy grail powder puff this is the beauty blender power pocket puff it's so good you stick your little finger in there and the under eye setting powder that i use normally is the pat mcgrath yellow powder but i found a dupe and it's a damn good dupe and this is by essence it's the brighten up banana powder you guys so so good if you've never tried essence i'm telling you the hype on that brand is real i'll just say that because all of their products are so good and it is brightening this powder it's smoothing just like the pat mcgrath um it's not as blurring as the pat mcgrath i'll say that but under the eyes it's super smoothing it sets your concealer perfectly but i usually will go with that powder from pat mcgrath all over the areas that i applied concealer and this one's really nice, don't get me wrong. Super, super high quality powder, but it's not as blurring as the Pat McGrath. But if you're on a budget or you're wanting to try a new brand at the drugstore that is gonna give you amazing results, this brand is a must try. You guys, oh, I love it, love it, love it. I love this stuff. Okay, now we set the rest of the face and I'm just gonna go to an oldie but goodie. I mean, it's a classic, it's viral, even now, so honestly, for good reason, but it's the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I love this stuff. I'm actually, okay, this is crazy. You see how much I've used up? It's all the way down there, you guys. And if you were to look under my table and on top, I mean, I have for sure over like 10, 15 loose powders. So the fact that I'm using this up, it's good. I'm gonna take my Stands Out Beauty Sponge. I always like to kind of tap the excess on the back of my hand. I like the sponge because it gives a really nice finish, but it's big. So you get your face done really quickly. Now, I'm not setting my under eye with this powder, but I used to, and it works just as good under the eyes. I feel like I have finicky under eyes, so not all powders work because they're dry, but this one does. If you didn't want to bother with a second powder, you'd be fine with just this one. Next product, one of my favorite, and we are going to be looking at bronzer. I'm going to go in with my NARS cream to powder bronzer first, and then I'm going to top it with the Laguna bronzer and powder because I just love this stuff, you guys. Before the LYS, lately I've been enamored with the LYS bronzer, uh, but before that I was going hard on this NARS cream to powder. The formula is just beautiful and so natural and it's like foolproof. I mean, it just works so nice. Look at that. Just really, really, really nice bronzer. So nothing crazy, but I added a nice little warmth to my skin. And then now I'll go in and set it with the powder bronzer. Although to be honest, this powder this bronzer doesn't need to be set, but I'm just being extra because 
I love this tone of NARS bronzer so much. So this is the NARS Laguna. I bought the mini one. It came in a set with an orgasm blush and I'm almost done with it, but you know, it's the mini one. Um, I don't know because of how long it's taken me to go through it just because I have so many other bronzers. Once I run out, I definitely am going to buy it again, but probably a mini if I can find it. God, it's just like the most perfect neutral but not too warm. Yeah, neutral bronzers. The formula is wonderful. Blends in like a dream every single time. Next, I want to do a little bit of highlighter. This is one that is just an OG, but I love it. It's the MAC Mineralized Powder. I didn't even know till later that it was like a glow powder that you could like a finishing powder for your whole face. This is the soft and gentle shade and it just works as a really nice subtle highlight for me. So that's how I use it. I thought about using a face palette um, because I highly recommend the Hourglass Tiger palette, but I just thought I'll use individual products because that way if you're looking for a highlighter or a blush and not the whole thing, look at how pretty that is. Now, if you're looking for shade references, look in my description box below because there's a ton of like popular foundations and my shade in them so that you can see like, would it look like that on me or not? But this is such a subtle and you can't overdo it. Like you can just keep going and it's gonna look gorgeous. So subtle, only when it catches the light just right, which duh, I guess that's what it was created for. <laughs> Okay, the next up is going to be blush. I haven't talked about these blushes that much. I have a couple times, but I love them so much. You guys are so good. They're from Laura Mercier, and it's a tinted moisturizer blush. So when you're having those no makeup makeup days or you just want to throw on like a quick uh, tinted moisturizer with your fingers real quick, go in with this blush. It's so pretty. It's foolproof. It never, ever looks patchy or bad over skin, SPF, or powder. I mean, it's just really beautiful. Uh, again, this is in the shade Southbound. That's what it looks like on my skin tone. And what I normally do is I will kind of, you know, spread it out like this. I actually go in with a brush very, very lightly to coat my brush. And then I just go in really softly and lightly. And it gives your skin like the most prettiest it gives your skin the prettiest glow. It looks really, really natural and skin-like. Like I said, the formula is just foolproof. It can go over powder, over skin, over SPF. Like, never ever have I had an issue blending it out or, you know, applying it on my skin under any, over any product. And I just feel like these are the ones that should have gone viral. People love that dewy, glowy look. As a whole, I also think that the beauty community is going through this blush loving phase, which I'm all about. And I just, I don't know, this is one of the best blushes that was released this year. And I don't get it. I don't understand why people haven't talked about it more. Look at how gorgeous that is. Ooh, gorgeous. I really want to put more blush on because I pulled out my hourglass at night blush, but I feel like this is good with the eye look that I've got going on. I just wanted to show you this gorgeousness again because, my God, you guys, this is in the ambient powder formula that Hourglass is just so well known for. There's a light swatch of the blush. When I tell you there is no more perfect blush for the holidays than this color, oh, I can't. Maybe just a light dusting. I'm gonna use a really, really fluffy, fluffy uh, brush so that I just get a light dusting. I can't help it, it's so pretty. Even on the days where I swear I'm gonna be like super cash and natural. Ooh, you guys. I always end up doing, end up overdoing it and it's the blush. So that's how I end up overdoing it. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Do you, do you, do you get it? Oh. Mm, I love it. Now I feel like it cannot be overlooked. I love this Tiger palette as well. This one was released for holiday this year from Hourglass. And I do think that the only ones they have right now is the, the Butterfly and the Tiger. 
This is the deepest, the tiger. I love it. It works for my medium skin tone. The butterfly is the lightest, but I've seen people with deeper skin tone use it and it works. The one that they don't have is the elephant one. So anyway, highly recommend any hourglass product. So I guess that's the perfect way to wrap up the complexion. I always do this and I talk to people about this, but I go in with my hourglass diffused light. Uh, it's an ambient light powder. This is what it looks like, but don't be scared. It's really sheer. Um, and again, it's going to get like, it's going to give you those reflex under the eye. Um, so that's what it, it looks swatched. But then as you can see, it's going to you know, kind of go into nothing, but it's got like this ambient powder. I don't know what it is. It's like a diffused light situation. Um, and it's a great finishing powder for your under eyes. It's going to give it like not a glowiness, but like a sheen that is so flattering in areas that have texture. And I don't know. I really don't know. I just know it makes it just a tiny bit brighter. I mean, I can tell on the camera, it makes it look a little bit brighter and a little bit more diffused. Perfect, perfect finishing powder. Okay, whether you're going to work, you're going to a holiday party, whatever, I'm going to film three more videos. You need your makeup to stay in place. And the one that I discovered this year was this Tarte Double Duty Beauty Setting Spray. Now, my holy grail is the Charlotte Tilbury. I am very honest and forthright about that, but this one's almost done. I almost finished it. it. It's more mattifying than the Charlotte Tilbury. So for the summer, I was using this one. Honestly, I bought it because I saw a TikToker um, swatch like a bunch of eyeshadows on her arm and then she sprayed it with a double duty. And then literally like 30 seconds later, she's like trying to scrub the eyeshadows off. They would not come off. And so, yeah, okay, good enough for me. So this is the one that I've used. I really recommend it. Now, this one doesn't make my face as glowy as a Charlotte Tilbury, but it's not gonna mattify you in a way that like will make your skin tight or anything like that. It's actually really nice on the skin. Again, highly recommend. Okay, and here's the final look. Um, I'll tell you what I used as my mascara. It's gonna be a combination of, this is just my holy grail products that I use for my lashes and I just won't deviate. But two of the products are at Ulta, so I'll share. So I always, always, always go in with my Essence Lash Primer. This is so good, you guys. Not only did I notice that my lashes were strengthened and more voluminous once I started using this, um, but I just, I feel like it thickens up my lashes and gives them volume so that when I go in with my mascara, it's really easy to achieve and I get done very quickly. So once I go in with my Essence Lash Primer, I then go in with my Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I know this is uh, exclusive to Sephora, but it is what it is and I wanted to tell you what I used. Then I go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes 2. I know it's a ridiculous combination, but it works for me. And then for the lower lashes, I do not deviate. Once I found this mascara, I won't use anything else. And it's the MAC Extended Play Giga Back Lash Mascara, uh, Giga Black. This thing does not budge, does not move, it doesn't smudge. I found out that it is considered a tubing mascara, so I love this. I won't use anything else on my lower lash lines. I have tighter set eyes, and then of course, like I'm in the humid environment because of Texas, so I just feel like Mm, I don't know. This is the best, best lower lash mascara I've ever used. On the lips real quick, I wanted to go like a little bit more nude because of the eye look. This is a little more brownie than I was expecting, but I did like how it came out. So I have the NYX Line Loud Lip Pencil in the shade Magic Maker. This formula is so good, you guys. Look at how pretty it is. I'll swatch for you guys real quick. So that's the eyeliner there. It's like a chocolate brownie with a little bit of rosiness and mauviness. Then I went in with the Milani Matte Lipstick in the shade 420 Tees. I think these came out last year, but I just tried them this year. Look at the, the packaging, by the way. Look at how cute that is. So pretty. And that's what the lipstick looks like. Just a really nice nude matte. And then I topped it off with one of my favorite drugstore lip glosses, the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. It's so good. This is in the shade 008 Stone. And it's just... I mean, it it is a little bit plumping. It has a little bit of opacity, I guess, to the color. This is the one that's been compared to the Fenty Gloss Bomb. So that's what it looks like there. Very similar color payoff. And the formula is pretty spot on too.
So that's my lip combo right there, really pretty. So there we go, guys. What did you think? This is a full face of makeup found at Ulta. My goodness, you guys, if I could just call out a few of these products, I would say the foundation is a must, must, must try. Must try. It is so, so good. These eye palettes or anything from Juvia's Place, it's more at the drugstore price level, but they're so good. The quality is amazing. I've never used a Juvia's Place palette that was a dud. Honestly, I just never have. They're amazing. And the blush, oh my God, it just makes me so happy. I, I don't know why I wanted this blush for so long. I knew that I liked this shade and I never bought it till recently and it's like, I'm obsessed. This blush is the perfect blush for the fall holiday season. So yeah, those are the three products that I would say must, must try. So what did you think? What is one of your favorite products at Ulta? Share down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Definitely share the video. It really does help my channel out. And I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas. All right, bye.